Hi gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. Mr. Elusive and Hermity Boo is in the picture just for a minute. He's my oldest doggy. Anyway, this week we have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs. We also have the sun shifting signs. And then Venus and Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, bring a big surprise to our love life. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi Gemini, welcome to holiday season, almost. You're certainly feeling it as we have Venus, the planet of love, making you frisky and excitable and more adventurous than usual. So you're fascinated and attracted to adventurous people within your relationship. You might be going, come on, let's travel. Let's do something different. You're interested in learning and studying and just being a little bit bolder in your actions. This is an exciting time for you where you're opening up to life's possibilities, particularly when it comes to love and relationships. I do have to say though, this is also a very intense time for you where you dive into your emotions a bit more and that's because the sun is in your place of great intensity. So you're feeling things on a primal level, but that can also be used for you to come into your power how powerful do you feel? You must know this week that you are equal to anyone and actually you're more powerful than you could possibly know. It's time to allow your power to rise to the surface. You're also quite determined and also optimistic because it's the sun to improve your finances and come into your power when it comes to abundance and a sense of security in the world. Now Venus, the planet of love, is square Uranus. So there may be some illusions or temptations around anything to do with people from different cultures traveling or doing something rash and amazing in the moment. But, you know, well, I don't know. It's, even though it's a square, it's not like a bad square. In fact, you can enjoy great pleasure in the square between Venus and Uranus. It's about feeling that you want excitement and you want freedom. Just make sure that you do it in a safe way. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Hey Gemini, let's see if there's a message here for you. Good synchronicity have led you here. If you're not into tarot, see you later gorgeous. If you are, let's see what the cards have to say. Okay Gemini, the moon, use your intuition. Uh, in fact, recently you had a gut feeling, actually, because this is the recent past and the present. A gut feeling, a dream, a symbol, a kind of message from the cosmos. Did you listen to it? You might feel that you're under pressure at the moment, but these are two major arcana cards, okay? So you've got the moon behind you, you've got the world, which is the best card in the pack in front of you. So it's very, very important that you trust your intuition will lead you here. Yes. Maybe at the beginning of the week, you'll feel under pressure and you won't be able to see the wood for the trees. But you know what? This person is on the top of that hill winning that battle and you are winning. So have faith. Um, don't allow other people to put pressure on you. You're letting go of stuff. And maybe that was a difficult decision for you. But your intuition and your gut feeling is it's time to let go of certain people, certain experiences, to go after what you want, to achieve the grounded success that you need. You need to be surrounded by the people that support you. Uh, you need a, a, a kind inner voice and you need to focus on your goal, which is the world. And 100%, 100%, you're going to get your goal because it is destined for you. And also look out for, well, I can't say 100% to be honest with you, but, <laughs> but you know, you've got a very good chance. Look out for a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio who's going to help you in your journey as well. But you know what? I knew it. Victory is there for you. Victory, but you have to let go of some shit, some emotional baggage. You're going on a journey. Make sure you leave, leave the swords on, on the um, water when you get off onto the new shore, which is victory, success and the world. And also the King of Cups. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. 
I've had the company for 20 years. I handpick them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. Hi, I'm a Michelle Nye Psychic. I'm a seer and I'm also a medium. I'm actually from a very small family. The spiritual thing has always been part of me. I started seeing things when I was just three years old. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. Sometimes I get visions or perceptions or taste or I listen to something or I get the feeling so through the spirits that might come to, to me to give you the message. I want you to find your own spiritual truthness. I want you to find what you really want and who you really are. I'm on the same path. We are all are. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. And this is your time to embrace all of that that makes your universe beautiful. I know I have the tools to help you find the same thing. Thank you.